Hi, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy around the web. I only recently started putting some stamps in my passport, but I'm learning how to get along fast. Here are a few things I've learned about traveling internationally, and hopefully they'll help you prep your tech for a trip. Traveling with technology has gotten a bit more painful lately. Political drama is leaving some people in the lurch for business travel, and even our vacations can be impacted just because of all the gadgets we like to keep around us. It is more difficult to get around without the larger screen, but the good news is our smaller electronics can often replace what we need our laptops for. For several recent work trips, I've managed to get quite a bit of my multimedia production done just using phones. We'll call them small screens, but they've actually gotten pretty big over the last couple years. I took a trip to Shenzhen this year, and I just didn't want to have to deal with the hassle of packing a laptop not knowing what security restrictions I was going to be faced with. But I still needed to write a script, record audio and narration, shoot video, edit all of that together, render it, and get it back uploaded to my YouTube channel. And a phone was plenty powerful enough to get all of that work done. It wasn't as easy to do, and it definitely took me longer than if I'd been sitting down in front of my laptop, but I think the biggest compliment I could pay to that workflow was that no one watching those videos seemed to notice that there was any significant difference between those videos produced from my phone and the normal style of travel videos that I'm apt to produce even when I'm running them through my laptop. This is really aggressive use for a smartphone and the apps that we've got on our phone, but it would have been a pipe dream even a couple years ago, something that would have been completely impossible. These little mobile apps are doing a much better job of getting the gig done when you're out in the field. And for fun, I've been putting together family videos at the events were gathered, like my sister's college graduation, all from a phone, shot, edited, and rendered in 4K. Now I'm a multimedia producer, but this concept extends to pretty much any kind of workload you might be looking at. Communication needs, document editing, not only do we have apps to better handle office workload, office documents, but we also have hardware to better flesh out the smartphone as a resource to get that work done. Packing a little portable wireless keyboard, maybe include a stylus if you need fine point interactions, things like spreadsheet work, and even just making sure you have a phone stand on hand, all of that together will get you a long ways toward replicating the workflow of a traditional laptop setup. Again, not as smooth or as powerful as packing a proper computer, but more than capable of handling the basics and then some. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks like these. And if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video, definitely drop me a comment down below. Links below on how you can support this channel, including buying my book, Take Better Photo Smartphone Photography for Noobs, now available on Amazon Kindle. Give me a follow on those socials, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.